Hey, everybody, welcome back to the show. Today's episode is going to be focusing on some Starship news for possibly this Friday, November 17th. Uh, SpaceX announced the other day that they plan on doing a launch of Starship IFT-2 Friday the 17th, pending final regulatory approval. They posted this on their website a few days ago. A live webcast of the flight will begin 30 minutes before liftoff. Well, you can watch it here or on x.com. So on SpaceX's website or on X, uh, at SpaceX on X. And that's, that's kind of a weird thing as far as I'm concerned that they only posted on X when they had, they have millions of followers on YouTube and one of their, um, one of their, uh, key proponents of doing spaceflight is to excite people about spaceflight. So first thing, I don't know why they went over to X. I get it because Elon owns it, but can you please leave a comment down below? Are you excited that they're moving over to X or are you bummed that they're moving over to X? Because I'm kind of bummed, to be honest with you. Their video platform is not great uh, and they're working on it, which I understand. But right now, I would prefer to watch it on YouTube. Anyway, that's a that's a whole thing. <laughs> that's a whole other thing. So basically, they said they're going to try to fly this thing on Friday, November 15th. All right. And they have this Friday, November 5th, 17th, sorry, 17th. And they have this whole video presentation. They did this whole thing on X where they post this cool video. It's a promo video and it's rad and it gets, it got me excited. There's cool like music and there's, uh, there's new shots of the, uh, of the IFT one. And there's new shots of, um, you know, there's new shots of the rocket and stuff. Very cool. So they did this IFT one rewind, which is really neat. So the IFT one, they launch it. Then they're like, oh, wait, it exploded. Nope. We're bringing it back. So they land it, you know, like they do just basically a reverse of the of the rocket landing. And they show all the cool new stuff for IFT two, the new rocket, the new booster. They show the people, which is really cool. They show a cyber truck, which is pulling a Raptor engine down the road. No big deal. It's just flying down the road. Highway four. And then we have some uh, we have some test shots here. We have a rest restack of the um, of the ship and the booster. And then they're like, we're ready to go. Um, and maybe they are. You know, all the ground systems seem like they're OK. Everything seems all right. Friday the 17th seems like a good day to do it, because let's take a look at the weather here. The weather for South Padre Island, it's, kind, it's pretty close. It's like a couple miles away. Today, really bad showers and windy. So they destacked the uh, ship from the booster, which is smart. And then tonight, 50% chance of showers and windy. So they destacked and they're going to have to restack it and do a final fit check before they actually launch the thing. And they'll probably do that tomorrow. So mostly cloudy and breezy tomorrow, 70. And I don't want to be a weather person here and get into the weather. But Friday looks like a great day for launch. Sunny. 73 degrees. That's a high of 73. That's a perfect launch day. If you're going to watch a launch at South Padre Island or at Boca Chica area, like you want it to be this day. This looks beautiful. But the other day, uh, let's just take a look at the highway for closures. There's no closures yet for November 17th. I haven't seen any yet. Maybe they post something in the background. Let me do a little ref a hard refresh here. They didn't do anything. Possible closure on the 15th. So the 15th could be, you know, uh, anything, you know, at this point. They could be moving something from uh, the Rocket Garden. They could be doing anything, but it's not a launch, right? So uh, 12 a.m. to 2 p.m. Uh, on the 15th, it's not going to be a launch. Final regulatory approval for uh, SpaceX. November 17th, pending final regulatory approval. All right. So let's take a look at some one more thing that SpaceX posted on X the other day. And this is pretty important because they posted a live stream that's coming up in the, you know, in the future, which is on the 17th. And they posted a potential live stream at like 730 in the morning, right? And they had like the, the placeholder and everything, and you could click through to it. And you could see that there was going to be a live stream on the 17th. And now the broadcast has ended. It is gone. Starship's second flight test is no longer on the 17th. The chat was available. Everything was available. And now there's no schedule for it. So we're just kind of here going like, okay, what's going on, SpaceX? You said that it might be on the 17th. 
keep your broadcast up if you think it's going to be on the 17th. So maybe they heard something. Maybe the regulatory approval is going to take a while. The Fish and Wildlife Service still has to check off those boxes for SpaceX to get final regulatory approval. And then they send that over to the FAA. FAA looks at all looks at all over it and SpaceX, they all work together in a cohesive unit as a team. And they say, OK, cool, we're going to do this together. Now, the next thing that would happen uh, that is from the San Antonio Express News is another piece of news that came out uh, just uh, earlier today, I believe. Um, but this is about this is some some political stuff. So it's kind of funny because um people really want this launch to happen and some people want it to launch more than other people want it to launch. The U S representatives, Tony Gonzalez and uh, Vicente Gonzalez sent a letter Friday to agency director, Martha Williams calling for timely environmental review of the company's launch operations. Okay. So they have some good points here and I want to talk about the good points, but I also want to kind of giggle at the silly stuff that they say, because uh, we have to tell the truth here. Uh, the United States is currently in a space race with the rest of the world. We kind of are. We want to get back to the moon. Uh, China want, is China's going back to the moon. China has a space station now. Um, you know, Russia is in the mix there. And like the whole rest of the world is kind of coming on board with this whole uh, with a new space race thing. Right. Um, and the federal government should not hinder public companies as they develop and push United States to remain a leader in the space exploration realm. OK, Uh it is of the utmost importance that Fish and Wildlife Service makes their environmental review decision sooner rather than later. Okay, so uh, I understand that. And that's it, totally cool. Um, make your decision soon, please. Just go through the system. Um, make sure you check off all the boxes. Everything is cool. And then you can launch the Starship. It's the last regulatory hurdle SpaceX has to clear before the Federal Aviation Administration can issue a new launch license. And then they go on to say, and this is the funny part, which it's, it's true-ish, you know, and it's one of those things where you're like, you look at this and you go, hey, uh, you don't have the right idea, dude. Uh, SpaceX is one of the largest employers in the Rio Grande Valley, which of course is true. 1,700 people ever employed there. But not only, and this is, uh, this is a whole other thing, but not only do... These people work there. I think 1,700 people work there, but every one of them buys things in the Rio Grande Valley. Everything, everybody has like services done in the Rio Grande Valley. Like they get gas in their cars, whatever, whatever it is. They take flights out of uh, uh, BRO, but uh, it is a major economic driver in the area. We, yeah, totally, 100% understand. A further delay in the environmental review will continue to harm the small businesses and tourism industry of South Texas. Oh, the fear, the fear. Okay, everyone calm down. <laughs> I love, I love politicians. How they make this seem like a horrible thing. No, it's not a horrible thing. Yes, people will go to this launch. Yes, it'll be a great thing to watch. But no one's losing their jobs because of this. Um, a further delay just means that more people are going to work on other things at SpaceX while they're just waiting around, right? So they're going to work on other boosters. They're going to work on other ships. Everything's the economy doesn't stop there. Um, <laughs> so it's funny how they do this. And the, like I find the humor in in some politics because some of these people are just insane. So it, it makes no sense. They're trying to pressure the Fish and Wildlife Service to get this done faster because of their agenda and it, it you know, because they want to look good or whatever. And I, and I have no problem with, um, these people, um, McAllen Democrat, um, Gonzalez and San Antonio Republican, other, the other Gonzalez, um, greatly impacts SpaceX's operations in South Texas and potentially hurts the region's econ economy here. And which I understand, right. They're building a rocket now. And if they have to wait, another, you know, till March to launch this thing or February or March to launch this thing. It does take a little while. Um, and they, they will be hindering some potential, uh, progress from SpaceX, right? And nobody wants SpaceX to fail and they won't fail if they have to wait a couple months. They've waited 15 years for Starship to be built. A couple months is no big deal. Um, people are impatient. 
and myself included, I'm a little bit impatient. I want this thing to launch yesterday, but you have to look at it from all angles. You can't just look at it from, I'm a fan of SpaceX, so this has to happen now. You have to think of it from, hey, there's there's federal regulatory bodies that uh, like help out. If these federal regulations weren't in place, things and people, animals, environment, infrastructures could be damaged. And they have to go through their whole system and it could probably be better. You know, people could put systems in place where these regulatory bodies get through these processes faster and with the same amount of um, accuracy and cadence that they do now, but uh, not the cadence, but they could have a faster cadence than they do now. All right. So ho hopefully, um, hopefully they get this done as soon as possible. And this pressure, <laughs> it's funny, the, the pressure from this area here, like it just makes me laugh. Uh, these people are um, a little bit out there. Uh, ready or not, the agency didn't immediately respond Saturday to questions about the congressional letter, uh, Buz uh, but Buzek said Wednesday the agency was still working on its review. So they posted it on Friday, and they're hoping to get a response. But of course, <laughs> like these people don't work on the weekends, so you're not going to get a response. I mean, come on. Um, it's a, it's an office job. So you're not going to work on the weekends and it's a government office job. So unless you have, um, unless you have some sort of contract where you do work on weekends, but most people in the government are off on the weekends. So, uh, in there, they go on to say, um, billions of government contracts, they work in with NASA. It's Artemis program, of course, like Artemis three is coming up. So they need starship. They need hundreds of starships to launch before they launch people into space. That's what, um, the SpaceX uh, CEO um, has said in the past and Gwen Shotwell has said, Hey, we need to launch a bunch of these things before we put people on them. It's not safe until we do that. Um, and Bill Nelson says it is essential uh, to us to SpaceX be able to test the rocket. That's cool too. You just, that's all you need to say. You don't have to say, well, this is going to hurt the economy. I am given, uh, uh, he continued, I'm given to believe that they are going to get the approval of fish and wildlife and therefore the FAA. We're all, we know this. I don't know the timing, but of course, a major delay would be a very considerable concern to NASA. So a major delay for something like this would be six months, um, two months, not that big of a deal um, because they're still working on other rockets. And if they get, so this is, this is the long-term thing, right? If they get this fish and wildlife um, approval and they get the FAA approval, the next one will be faster. Because this is about the new FAA approval is mainly about the new sprinkler system under the rocket and the new sound or the water suppression system underneath the rocket. So once they figure that out and that goes through the system, they can move forward with other uh, other launches faster than what this one was. So it's only been a little bit um, since the last launch, since IFT one. So we all just have to be patient. We all have to hang out. We'll have to just wait on Friday. Starship watchers shared photos of SpaceX employees, apparently installing explosives on the Starship redesigned flight termination system that happened. They did the flight termination system too. That's pretty cool. And so that shows that SpaceX is just ready to go. And they're just waiting for this federal, uh, federal regulatory approval to happen. So, um, that's about it for for this right now, but it looks like SpaceX may know something that we don't know because this broadcast has ended. Let me let me uh, let me do something real quick. See if uh, yeah, I had to refresh and make sure that all my plugins were off just to make sure that this works properly. Uh, but it looks like SpaceX doesn't have anything planned for the um, for the foreseeable future. Maybe not Friday. Maybe they're not. Uh, they do keep posting these hype videos, which is great, but maybe they don't have a plan for Friday anymore um, because that video has been taken down. I, I really wish they did, but I don't see it happening. Um, I don't see it happening unless they get approval like in the next two days. Um, and if they get the approval in the next two days, today they have destacked ship and they'll have to reboost it back up on top of the booster. And once they do that, they'll do a fit check for about a, you know, test the systems for a little bit, make sure everything's working. That'll take about a day. 
um, and then they'll get prepped with the ground systems and things like that. That'll take a couple days. And then they could launch Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So if it happens within the next few days, let's go. They still need a they still need a launch license, though. Remember that. So if the Fish and Wildlife Service come through and the FAA finds it uh, good, then the launch license is next. So hoping, hoping for Friday, hoping for Friday, but maybe it'll be next week. Maybe it'll be the week after that. So we just have to sit tight. It, that's just basically what it. Space flight is just hold on and wait, you know, like let's go forward, but let's also wait. So that's it for today, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Join the flight crew, hit the subscribe button. I don't ask for it much. So if you watch this whole thing, please hit the subscribe button. And if you're really into space flight, make sure to hit the membership button to join us. Um, and that'll help continue the show and continue the channel because we're, uh, we have some cool things planned for the future. Now, um, if you subscribe to the channel, it doesn't just help me out because it's, you know, it's great that you're here and I'm really happy that you're here, but YouTube will see that and put you in the algorithm of more space flight news in the future. So you'll get that stuff in your feed. You get more space flight, not only from me, but from other channels too. So I want to say thank you so much for watching today and thank you for subscribing and being part of this channel. Give it a thumbs up, give it a like that helps too. you know, algorithm stuff. <laughs> That's it, everybody. I'm out of here. Bye-bye.